awesome lots of hairstyles and today I'm going to show you how to do a waterfall into a bow for super fine hair. My friend needed it done for a wedding so we filmed it and it's really good for fine hair or thick hair. If you have fine hair you can watch and see how we make the bow really big so give it a try thanks. So she came to me with her hair just air dried and I hadn't had a chance to put in this root elevator so I'm just parting some deep parts on each side getting it a little bit wet and squirting in some root elevator Mine is just called Big Sexy Hair from Walmart or wherever, but you can get the more expensive brands. So I do a deep part in the back and on both sides, get it a little bit wet, and then I'll have to blow dry this in. So I will blow dry it straight off of her head, so I'm lifting the hair up with the brush to give it some height. If I start on wet hair or on damp hair, I squirt that in when my hair is still damp, and then I will blow dry my hair upside down to get the same effect. Now notice the nice um, body it gave it on top, because usually her hair is really limp and it kind of clings to her head. So then I did a side part and I divided, I pulled out a little section, divided into three, and I will start the waterfall French braid. So basically, instead of crossing that bottom strand over, I will drop it and pick up a new strand and add it into my braid. And then it's like a regular French braid on top. And on the bottom, I'm going to drop that lower strand and grab one behind it. So get that one out of my way reach for one behind it and incorporate it into my braid and I have a lot of um, waterfall braiding tutorials if you need to click on any of those off our channel then drop that strand below pick up the one beneath add it into the braid and I always stop and puff it out so that you can see the pretty braided shape especially on her fine hair you want to accentuate all of it so then I brought it over to just below that side part and I also waterfalled the other side and they're both in elastics and I'm going to combine both the braids and a little bit of hair from beneath about as much as you can afford based on the th thickness of your hair then I get some hair texturizing wax get it a little wet and coat that strand that is now all incorporated into that elastic really get in there and coat those this will help it shine and keep the flyaways down and then I brush it through to keep it smooth. Then I'll grab a little section of my elastic, open it back up and, and twist it. And then I'll take half the hair, or maybe a third of what was hanging out, loop it like that in the elastic and smooth out the other side, roll it over itself and grab it with the center. And then I will pin that ear of the bow into a, another elastic. and then move those two ears out of the way and brush out that middle tail and then I'll get out my curling iron and just run it over that so that the end of it has a cute little curl then take that center wrap it around just enough to cover the elastics and to make it into a pretty shape you know slide it to get it centered turn those curls to face out or however you like it and bobby pin them in then you fan out these sides twist them so that they're facing forward, fan them as large as, as you want the bow to be, slip those bobby pins in to hide them, fan out the other ear, and hold it into place. You can put in as many bobby pins as you need to to secure them. You just don't want them to show. And then once you have that cute bow in, I start doing the barrel curls. So on her fine hair, I'm going with this thinner wand so that it will hold a, make a tighter curl to begin with and hold it longer. And then I hold it until it gets hot, release it into my hand until it cools a little bit, and let it go. Notice I wrap around the barrel, hold it, and then again hold it in your hand to avoid more heat damage that you don't need. And then I am doing the waterfall strands very last because I think it's pretty how they cross through the braid and then they hang down in a curl. So get the whole head curled, save those waterfall strands until the end, and then I'm going to separate these curls and they're a little bit tight right now for my taste, but she doesn't need to be there for an hour and by then they will be perfect. I just don't want them falling out since they need to last all day. So I take a little bit of hairspray and squirt it on and then I scrunch up the hair in my hand. And notice how much thicker it looks than since we started. She has that pretty height up on top and the bow is really big and puffy and I just love what you can do to give your fine hair a lot of volume.